While I was attending Yale University, my Hebrew teacher was a guy named Eliezer. And what I would do is periodically come up with a Hebrew term that I didn't know exactly the precise ancient meaning of and ask him to research it and then come back to me when he found out the best he could on the ancient meaning of this Hebrew word and explain it to me. So I went to Eliezer one day and asked him to look up the ancient meaning of Urim and Thummim. And we were standing in the hallways of Yale University when I did this and he began to laugh. I said, Eliezer, what's so funny? He said, don't you know what the motto of Yale is? And I went, yes, light and truth. He said, no, that's the Latin derivation of the motto. The original motto was written in Hebrew, and the motto of Yale University is Urim and Thummim, or as they say, Yudim e Thummim. He said, there's a whole library down in the Beinecke Library on the Urim and Thummim. So I went down and accessed the library, and based on that information and others that I received from writings of people in the church, I came to a realization of what the Urim and Thummim looked like. So I had one made. The description of it as used by Aaron was, it was two stones that fit in the rims of a silver bow, a singular, and was worn over the heart always before the Lord. So the Urim and Thummim, according to the book of Exodus, was worn over the heart always before the Lord by Aaron and was used to determine truth. Joseph Smith, however, represented it differently. He wore it over the breasts in this way, so that one fit over the right breast and one fit over the uh, left. And he described them as being stones that fit in silver bowls, plural. And so I, after some study, I realized that the bowls that were being talked about were made of silver and the stones fit inside them and in the case of Aaron they superimpose over one over the other and so it was just one bow but used in ter plural terms but Joseph Smith fanned out over each breast and was used in the plural uh, plural terms. The Urim and Thummim was used for accessing truth as well as revelation to determine uh, uh, future and deciding how to uh, resolve disputes. It was used anciently for disputes and, and by Joseph Smith to receive revelation almost about anything. But it was worn over the heart and then and or over the breast. The two stones in the Urim and Thummim were comprised by two different triangles. One is an equilateral triangle, the other is a right angle triangle. But used superimposed over each other, they form uh, the Star of David, and that's the origin of the Star of David, and when viewed correctly, the two stones, the triangular stones, form a compass and a square, which of course those who have been to the temple recognize the significance of those two symbols.